tonight from Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL. It's the Green Bay Packers taking on the Detroit Lions. And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. We're in October now, so everything, everybody should be coming into form, shouldn't they? They really should. And what you have now is a full routine established about what you want to get done and full focus on the season. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in Week 5 on EA Sports. And this taken in at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two First play, and Hurts looking to throw it. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know, as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. And they'll accept that penalty. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. Throwing on second and 14. Hurts. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Young. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 33. 15 yards there on the catch and run. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. As one of the better coaches in the league always tells me, 
On offense, I want to throw body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping in one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Hurts. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. Shoves him aside. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. It's a big play, yet amazingly, because of how far they had to go, they're still looking at a second down here. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well, like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Hurts fumbles it. And this is one of the dangers of letting your quarterback run the football. Now look, he goes through ball security drills just like a running back does. But most of the time, the quarterback swings the ball away from his body. And in traffic, sometimes they forget to protect it. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And leading the charge, we get a look at their six-year quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Smith rolling to his left. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Facing second and short, that gives you a chance to go for a bigger play through the air. But I think he said to himself, why don't I just handle this one? Got all the yards you needed and then some and made that snap a huge success. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. The numbers for him from a week ago. A boatload of carries, 131 yards, and also the score. And he's been a touchdown machine for this season. He's number one in the league in rushing touchdowns. So that has to help the entire offense as a whole. Play action passes. Other people have a chance to touch the football because if you're a defense, you absolutely have to key on him. And he's got Booker. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. On first and 10, Smith. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. The Packers had two and two through the first four weeks of the season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Here's second and five now from the 37. Back to throw, Smith. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Now Smith. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, Charles, it's early, but that's a key third down conversion. Remember, they forced the turnover on the opening drive. Now they're in a position where they look like they'll at least get three out of this. A great example of complimentary football if they're able to cash this in, isn't it, partner? Because defense does this job, takes it away, turns over the offense. They just pick up a nice first down there. Maybe it's time to think about taking a shot at the end zone because it looks like the field goal is almost assured. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 
18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game, and nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Throwing again is Smith. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Lions have recovered. And I guess we're back to square one. A rocky, rocky start here. A turnover followed by a turnover. Not exactly what we expected going into the game, but I always wonder about the nerves and people starting, the emotions of the game. Sometimes it takes a little while for that to play out and for them to settle in. Let's hope that that's taken care of now. Here comes Jonathan Taylor and his teammates. Whatever he was doing in September, they're hoping that that carries over now to October because he was sensational last month. He absolutely was, and we all know where it started at the end of last season, right? All the off-season preparation, the weight workouts, the sprints, right? The vision that he had, what he was going to do this season, and of course, it all came together with the rest of the team. Those big fellows up front, leverage and boy are they getting downfield creating extra blocks for them. they really are everyone's been doing their job so far to create those holes and that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. they'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down here's hurts to throw he'll drop this down to taylor and i don't think he got there no he's short by maybe a foot maybe call it fourth and inches but it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive, and they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To throw is Smith. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It'll go as a loss of three on the sack, and it brings up third down. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks. Great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Throwing is Smith. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop it well short. now is the Packers punter as he's on here to punt it away. Yeah. 
So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And partner, I know so far, and we're still in the first half, but you love this game as a defensive guy. Zero to zero. We'll see if the offense can get going on this drive. But you know how they talk about music to your ears? How about what it does for your eyes when you watch something like this, right, where these teams are locked in and going at it, no points going up on the scoreboard. I'm loving it. You're exactly right. Well, switch over, though, to an offensive mindset for a moment. What do they need to do here to get on track and get some points? Well, I think a couple of ways. Number one, you pull out something that maybe they haven't seen before. Coaches always talk about unscouted looks. Maybe you give them something that they haven't seen on tape, and now you shock them that way. The second, run your basic playbook, but run it so well that you give your skill position guys a chance to make big plays individually. Those big ends don't really care what the play call is. Big pass, RPO, handoff, whatever. Their job, get behind the line of scrimmage every play and run down whoever has the ball. Mission accomplished there. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. Throwing his hurts. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker. And this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. But first down, Hurts. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They're going to look to throw. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll make it second down. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. From the 38, Hurts. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 28. They give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. So second and four from the 22. Now Hurts on the option right. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Well, he had success earlier in the drive, keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. The 
The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Looking to throw. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. We can make this one pretty simple. Walk the ball of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. But clearly that was a design play. I just don't know that it was the right design. Hey, you're older to have him pick it up and kind of be the power guy try to run through the middle. Everything has to go right for that to work. You mean you weren't relying on just great blocking to get him through? You kind of think maybe he can help make his own way if he's an actual running back yeah. instead of the holder? Yeah, I thought the same thing. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now Smith. Throwing for the out route, he finds Wilson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Here's Smith. And this is going to be incomplete. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. 47-yard punt, a return of four. And that will come the offense as they take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. To throw on second and ten. Hurts, he finds his man, complete. It's Young. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, what, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Perfect. Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. First and 10, Taylor now. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. From the 47, it's second and five. They'll look to throw here. Out route, and he connects with Fire Newth. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46 yard line. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. He'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Second and eight coming up. Laundry on the field. This is going to be a false start on the offense. Sometimes you have to slow things down a little bit when things get heated. The cadence has to be slow and deliberate at times to make sure your team's ready to go. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. 
Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Young. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll set up a throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. They take the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Taken down on the play by Aiden Hutchinson. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. They'll get this down to the 38. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Up the middle they go. Ewing. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. at the 31 it's third down Smith now to throw and they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20 able to find a lot of empty space there picking up the first down at a 21 yard gain this is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that for both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Smith. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Throwing again on second down. Smith, touchdown! Gary Wilson, his second touchdown on the season. And the Packers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. So this drive spans seven plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. 
out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Another shot now for this Lions offense. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Fryermuth. That one, a first down pickup of eight. To the right side, this is Taylor. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Second down, another run with Taylor. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. The offense on third down tonight, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Now back to throw. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Decent gain on the scramble is six, but now it's fourth. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. Here comes the Lions punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. So here are the Packers now to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Here's Smith. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. To throw again on second down, Smith. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Smith. Flush to his right. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. First down, Smith. And that is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. He'll look to throw. Here's Booker on the catch. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 35. Smith. Wide open receiver complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Their mobile quarterback with his second touchdown of the game, number eight on the season. And the Packers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. 
Partner, to me, that touchdown had something that was kind of rooted in that group seeing the future. What I mean by that is they had a plan. Let's find a way to score right here before the half. And now to give us momentum going into the second half, give us that cushion that we're looking for, they got that accomplished, scoring right before the half ended. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. So that lines up a seven-play drive all told and was polished off by the touchdown run from the 16-yard line. So the Packer kickoff team set to go as they will kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. And Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still... He's got a man complete! The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Back to throw. Being chased out left. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. He'll drop to throw. Now this will be swung out wide for Taylor. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Hurts fumbles it. Offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. And now the half not quite over yet. This is a live football on the miss. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Lamar Jackson, sharp in the victory as his guys bounce back from a tough start to the year to claim victory number one. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. The Oilers get back above 500 as they move to 3-2 and two with the victory. And then finally, we'll wrap up the week on Monday Night Football with a good one between the New York Giants and what equates to be a very tough opponent. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. This is going to put them back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards.
One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Throwing on second and eight. Smith over the middle. It's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. They'll run on first down. Ewing. And he's got some space here. Touchdown, Packers. A big play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Packers have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 21 to zero. So that drive, four plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. First down with Hurts. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And the ball on the 30. Here's second and four. Hurts sets up to throw it. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. going to keep it running right and he'll be brought down losing yardage back at the 40. He'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it but the results they just aren't there. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They'll set up to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the Packers are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Now it's Smith. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Looking to throw. 
Smith. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And Detroit getting set to go now. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Hurts. He finds his man complete. That's Young. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw here. Got St. Brown running the quick slant here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Nothing in that first half, nothing on the last drive, but they're moving now with a first and 10. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple players getting home there, and it's a loss of two on the sack. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Here comes the Lions punter now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. They're just looking to do more of the same. They were good in the first half. They've extended their lead so far here in the second half. I don't know, they're just looking good on all, hitting on all cylinders right now. And sometimes that means a head coach who really has a finger on the pulse of the team may not have anything to say at all, may oh, tell the rest of the coaches, a little bit. just back it off a little bit. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in <laughs> basketball, getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84, and on the board, Michael Jordan had, wrote, had written, Coach, after all we've been through, there's no way we're losing tonight. He didn't even give a pregame speech. Wow, interesting. Well, right now, no speech is needed. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. So a little more space to work with here from the 13 on first and 10. Out of the gun, Smith. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Smith. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Now, Will. 
whistles here. Flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. And that flag accepted. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Now Smith. He has a man. It's complete to Wilson. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff up the middle. Ewing. And he'll work this one out to about the 38. Second down, Ewing. And not much room to speak of. He'll get about three up to the 41. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And that is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. On now is the Packers punter as he's on to kick it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Well, the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to quell that because otherwise, they certainly won't get anything done in this one. Keep diving deeper into the offensive playbook. The bottom line is, don't quit competing. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. How many times have we sat with coordinators, and especially the defensive guys, they've talked about big plays, sacks. They often come in bunches. Well, it may not be a bunch here, but that is the third sack of the game for them. And around the sack three or four, we think it starts to get in the quarterback's head a little bit. Not just the quarterback, the offensive play caller, the offensive line, knocks people off balance and changes what they normally do. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Young. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it's second down. And he's been one of their few bright spots here this afternoon. And as you pointed out, so far he's gotten his. That's not been the issue at all. But the teammates, the other guys, they've been shut down. That's why the defensive guys have to feel pretty good, even though he's over 100 yards. Yeah, he topped 100 with that last catch. Out of the gun now on third down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It'll be a sack and a loss of three, but more importantly, it brings up fourth down. 
Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. Here comes the Lions punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Taken in at the 22. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Give him a good 10 yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. You're three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take your clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. First down, they'll go to the ground attack. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. And I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. The offense on third down tonight, they're at 50%, four for eight. Here it's third and two. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carrot. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. On first down, Ewing. 65 yards rushing for him now to this point. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 27-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Up the middle they go. Ewing. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Back to throw, Smith. And he's got Booker. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Second and two. First down marker at the five-yard line. Now a handoff up the middle. Ewing. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. To throw is Smith. 
Touchdown, Packers! From three yards out, and the Packers are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Now the try here for the point after. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And the result, a Green Bay score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Detroit's offense ready to take over. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Throwing his hurts. He'll get this one to the Golden Domer, St. Brown. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They're going to look to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Open man. That's the tight end, Fryermuth. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 43. Looking to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Hurts fumbles it. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. First down, Hurts. He'll buy some time right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. To throw again on second down, Hurts. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Again, it's Taylor, and he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now, Wiss 
whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Amon Ross St. Brown, a five-yard touchdown. And the Lions are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. So they will get on the scoreboard here. Give them credit for that. Too little, too late, but no zero. Oh, you, you're going slow clap on me. <laughs> Not very nice, is it? No, but they haven't been very nice on offense. It's been a struggle. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And he's got it as the score is now 31 to 7. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. Oh, did the Lions get it? Yes, they recovered. Great job by the kick team there to get the football, but also don't forget about the man that started it, the lonesome kicker himself. I love that you brought him into it because he doesn't get nearly the attention he deserves. Oftentimes, it's only when it's negative. In this case, he created a positive play for his team. From just shy of midfield, Hurts slant around, and he's got Fryer move. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. This a second and seven from the 37. Back to throw again. He finds his man complete. It's Young. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. They'll look to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Over the middle. That's caught by Taylor. And the Lions are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Dancing to his left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Young. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Lions get a bit closer. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. Hurts will throw. He's got it. So they convert the two that keeps their slim hopes alive as we're back to a two-score game. But still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure, but that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready, because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is recovered by the Packers, so that might just about do it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. 
Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And they take a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. A lot more was on the line in this one than just defending your home field, CD. They defend their home field against a division rival and get the victory, so this one feels a little extra special. It has to, right? There's always just a little more emphasis on games like this. Everyone talks about playing each game the exact same way, but you and I both know that is not true. Division rivals, you want to take care of business, not just at home, but against a team that you really don't like very much, too. So for Green Bay, they move back over 500 at 3-2 and two now on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for Detroit, they'll fall to 1-4 and four with a loss. And they'll try to rebound next week on the road in Nashville. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.